Hi there everybody, we're playing Warframe and today we're going to take a look at the Caliban Warframe which is a new Warframe that was released with the new war. So you complete the new war and you get access to this blueprint in the market. 50,000 credits. So let's now go to Cetus. Which is where we can get the rest of the Caliban parts from the Cetus bounties. first face I saw on waking from that horrible dream. She gives, we live. Never more true than now, eh, Sura? We live in spite of Norma. And still, the Tower of Unum stands. The Quills are even saying she spoke to you. Ah, much to do, much to do! Come! <laughs> okay, Konzu, let's take a look at the bounties. Now you'll find a bounty here called the Nama Bounty. This one's Rise and Fall of Nama and it drops a Caliban Neuroptics Blueprint. But they'll randomly drop a Caliban part. You'll also get Nama Isoplast as well. But you'll need plenty of um, Nama Isoplast as well to construct these things. Grows, we must chop it off. Sending you after the latest Veilhead boss killer. You know what to do. Doga! So I've got my public grouping turned on as well because it's best to do these missions with uh, groups because they're quite high level. An enemy drone has crashed in your area. I need you to escort it to safety. Proceed to the waypoint if you accept this mission. So as I said, these missions drop the Nama Isoplast as well, which is a resource for construction of the Caliban Warframe. But uh, these missions will also drop new mods, new set mods for the uh, Archons uh, from the new war quest. So Amar, Boreal and Myra have mods that drop in this mission. And they're kind of composite mods where they'll give you uh, two stats to increase per mod. The other thing to mention is that if it's night time in Cetus then you can go to Fortuna and find Nama bounties on Fortuna. So we have to do five stages as per normal with these uh, Cetus bounties. how all the enemies are wearing the um, all the armor headpiece on their heads. Now if you look down in the comments below I've made a link to the, uh, the new war quest series that I did earlier. So you can watch that if you haven't done the new war quest yet. Be warned there are some spoilers in there if you want to do the quest yourself first. Maybe just refer back if you need help with any parts of the mission. They're sending another wave to take out the drone. Stay vigilant. Now we've got a new player came into the group. I've just been running these missions for a little while to get the uh, the resources, the isoplast and the chances for the parts to drop. Uh, it might take me a while to get all the parts. The 
The drone is ours. Analyzing data stream. Excellent. A possible beat. Okay, we got some endo. The commander has requested a supply drop to quell unrest among you're nearing the armor vault. Take out the surrounding guards. One of them is carrying a data mass, and we'll need that to get inside. They dropped the data mass. Grab it. Good. Now insert that data mass into the console. If they destroy the console, we'll never get the vault open. Just defending us for two minutes. The other player is just nuking everybody, so it helps a lot. <laughs> like I said, playing in groups is much easier. You can play with friends, whatever. seconds to go. You see these Nama guys are level 59 now. It's quite high. Caliban your optics blueprint. That's pretty cool. Let's move on to the next stage. Our target is about to receive. Among these troops is a resupply beacon. Find it and take it. Take that supply beacon and I will call it. These guys are level 62 now. Well, this one's 59. Are dropping now. Destroy them. These ones are 62. Here's the supply beacon. Grab it so I can call in the drop. Here comes the supply pod. Destroy the supplies before the enemy can get their hands on it. Okay, more endo. So we've got two more stages to complete. Seized intelligence has revealed the location of the commander's camp. Liberate it from him. You've reached the location. Clear out any nearby hostiles. Oops. Oh, 
mission is ours. Wait. Incoming assault. Don't let them retake this territory. Okay, so now we have to defend the territory. Keep the invaders out. Less than a minute now to uh, defend. I missed out on the bonus though, unfortunately. Hatred, that's one of the uh, Archon mods. The commander is in the area. Scanning. He's hiding. Okay, Tenno. See if you can draw the commander out. So a Mars Hatred will give you 30% armor and 15% ability strength. So that's one of those sort of hybrid mods. It's pretty cool. Any enemies here to draw out the, uh, the target? Here he comes. Let's take him out. Never was much hope of reasoning with that Vanir. Even less hope with More Indo. More Indo. There'll be another one clapping on the veil he drops soon enough. Alright, so now we can complete this mission and go back to base. So yeah, like I said, just keep repeating these missions until you get all of the uh, Caliban parts and stock up some of the uh, Nama Isoplast that you need to construct them. And some other resources we'll need as well, but we'll talk about those later. And that's the end of this episode guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe to see more in this series and uh, we'll see you next time.